Welcome to Don't Do This Guide, where we teach you everything you shouldn't do to succeed. Life is often about learning from mistakes. Today, we're diving into a topic that's close to everyone's heart, how to achieve anything in life. What is it precisely that you want? Because most people, they haven't even defined that properly. Did you know that only 8% of people actually achieve their New Year's resolutions? That's a crazy fact, right? Stick around to learn how you can be part of that 8%. We're going to delve into the things you should avoid, the pitfalls and traps that ensnare so many. Let's jump in. The first misstep, the first wrong turn on the road to achievement is a lack of clarity. You must know what you want. And I don't mean a vague sense of wanting a better life. I mean a precise, detailed understanding of what you're aiming for. What does success look like to you? And even more importantly, why do you want it? What are the motivations driving you? If you're chasing something that doesn't resonate with your core beliefs, you're likely to falter. It's like building a house on sand. Without a solid foundation, it will crumble. So before you even think about setting goals, take the time to understand yourself. What are your values? What truly matters to you? What kind of person do you want to be? Answer them honestly, and you'll be well on your way to achieving anything you set your mind to. So, you've stared into the abyss of your own desires, you've wrestled with your motivations, and you've questioned your purpose. And finally, you've emerged with a clear and defined goal. Now what? The next mistake people often make is failing to break down their goals into manageable pieces. You see, a large goal, a significant ambition, can be utterly paralyzing. It's like staring up at a mountain you have to climb. The sheer scale of it can make you want to crawl back into bed and hide. But here's the secret. You don't have to climb the whole mountain at once. You just have to take the first step and then the next and the next. Each step brings you closer to your goal. Break your goal down into smaller, more achievable tasks. Think of each task as a piece of a larger puzzle. Think of it like eating a pizza. You wouldn't try to stuff the whole thing in your mouth at once, would you? No, you'd cut it into slices. Each slice is manageable, achievable. Each bite is a step towards finishing the whole pizza. And before you know it, the whole pizza is gone. Divide and conquer. By breaking it down, you make the impossible possible. Now, let's talk about something many people try to avoid. Hard work. There's no escaping it. It's a fundamental part of achieving success in any area of life. Achieving anything worthwhile requires effort, discipline, and a willingness to grind. It's about showing up every day, even when you don't feel like it. This is where many people falter. They get discouraged by the challenges and the slow progress. They seek shortcuts, magic pills, get rich quick schemes. They want the rewards without the effort. But the truth is, there's no substitute for hard work. It's the only way to truly achieve lasting success. You have to be willing to put in the hours, to make sacrifices, to push yourself beyond your comfort zone. It's about embracing the process, not just the end result, but here's the thing. Hard work doesn't have to be miserable. It can be a source of joy and fulfillment. In fact, it can be deeply fulfilling, even enjoyable if you approach it the right way. It's about finding the joy in the journey. The key is to find ways to make the grind meaningful, to connect it to your values and your vision for the future. When you see the bigger picture, the daily grind becomes more bearable. If you're working towards something you truly care about, the effort itself becomes a source of satisfaction. It's about aligning your work with your passion. It's no longer a chore, but a challenge, an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. Each obstacle becomes a stepping stone. So embrace the grind, but make it fun. Find joy in the process and let it drive you towards your goals. This brings us to another crucial point, failure. Ah yes, that dreaded word, the one we're taught to fear and avoid at all costs. But here's the thing about failure, it's inevitable. Everyone fails. Everyone stumbles and falls. The difference between those who succeed and those who don't is not the absence of failure, but their response to it. You see, failure is not the opposite of success. It's a stepping stone on the path to success. Every mistake, every setback, every stumble is an opportunity to learn, to adapt, to grow, the key is to not allow failure to define you. Don't let it crush your spirit or extinguish your fire. Instead, embrace it as a teacher, 
a harsh but necessary guide. And never ever let it stop you from pursuing your dreams. In our pursuit of goals and our relentless striving for achievement, we often make the mistake of focusing solely on the destination. We become so fixated on the end goal, on reaching the summit, that we forget to appreciate the journey itself. But here's the thing. The journey is where life happens. It's in the day-to-day -day grind, in the small victories and the inevitable setbacks, that we truly grow and evolve. Don't wait until you've achieved your ultimate goal to allow yourself to feel happy and fulfilled. Celebrate the small wins along the way. Acknowledge your progress. Take the time to appreciate how far you've come. So savor the journey. Let's talk about the power of your mind, the incredible influence it has on shaping your reality. Your thoughts are not just fleeting moments. They are powerful forces that can shape your world. You see, your mindset is everything. It's the lens through which you view your life and your potential. It can either be your greatest ally or your worst enemy on the road to achievement, depending on how you harness it. A negative mindset riddled with self-doubt and limiting beliefs will sabotage your efforts at every turn, making even the simplest tasks seem insurmountable. It will whisper doubts in your ear, magnify your fears, and convince you that you're not good enough, smart enough, or capable enough to succeed. On the other hand, a positive mindset fueled by self-belief and a can-do attitude can propel you towards your goals with incredible force, turning obstacles into opportunities. It will help you see challenges as opportunities, setbacks as learning experiences, and failures as stepping stones to success rather than as roadblocks. So how do you cultivate a positive mindset? It's a journey, not a destination. It starts with becoming aware of your thoughts, recognizing the patterns that hold you back. Pay attention to your inner dialogue. Listen to the words you tell yourself every day. Are you constantly criticizing yourself? Are you your own harshest critic? Are you focusing on the negative aspects of every situation? If so, it's time to reframe your thinking. Challenge those negative thoughts and replace them with empowering ones. Replace them with positive affirmations. Speak to yourself with kindness and encouragement and watch how your world transforms. Find your support system. Now, let's talk about the importance of community, of surrounding yourself with people who support your journey. You see, we are social creatures. We thrive in connection, in the company of others who understand and support us. Trying to achieve anything great in isolation is like trying to swim upstream against a powerful current. It's possible, but it's infinitely harder. Find your tribe. Seek out people who share your values, who support your ambitions, and who will hold you accountable. Remember, you don't have to do this alone. In our pursuit of goals, we often make the mistake of becoming too rigid, too attached to a specific outcome. We create a detailed plan and then cling to it with an iron grip, refusing to deviate even when circumstances change. But here's the thing, life is unpredictable. Circumstances change, unexpected obstacles arise, and if we're not careful, our rigidity can become our downfall. The key is to be adaptable, to bend like a willow in the wind rather than snapping like an oak. Don't be afraid to adjust your sails, to modify your approach, or even to change course entirely if necessary. We live in a world of instant gratification, a world of overnight success stories, and get-rich-quick schemes. It's easy to fall into the trap of believing that achieving our goals should be quick and easy. But here's the truth. Good things take time. Anything worthwhile, anything truly meaningful requires patience, persistence, and a willingness to play the long game. Think of it like planting a seed. You wouldn't expect to see a towering tree sprout overnight, would you? No, you would nurture that seed, water it, protect it, and patiently wait for it to grow. Trust that with time and consistent effort, you will reap the rewards. Finally, we come to the importance of reflection, of taking the time to learn from our experiences. In the relentless pursuit of our goals, we often forget to pause, to look back and assess our progress. But reflection is essential for growth. It allows us to identify our strengths and weaknesses, to learn from our mistakes and to make adjustments to our approach. Make reflection a regular practice. Set aside time each week or even each day to journal, meditate, or simply to think quietly about your journey. Embrace it. 
Thanks for watching Don't Do This Guide. We've explored the pitfalls, the errors in thinking, the misinterpretations of reality that can hold you back from achieving your goals. Remember, the path to success is not about avoiding failure, but about learning from it. It's about embracing the grind, cultivating a positive mindset, and surrounding yourself with a supportive community. If you found value in this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post new content. And let us know in the comments what goals you're working on and how you plan to achieve them. Until next time.